Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at the color effects and editing the color of pictures and video in our uh, video project. So I have a few different video clips here I'm gonna bring in. I'll start with this one first. So we see this clip here. It may be a little bit overexposed. Um, so, and we can maybe adjust some of the colors to get a little bit more accurate or at least a different look if we wanted to. So to do that, when we select the clip, as we've learned, it appears in the effects area. And I've sort of resized this so that we can see it in the screen a little bit better when I zoom in. But when we're not clicked on the clip, this is empty. If we left click and select the clip, or in this case, it's selecting both clips at once, we see all the effects applied to these clips. We have transform and then volume and pan. We can shrink down these if we want, so they're expanded by default. But if we hover over this triangle and left click these triangles, then all the options for them kind of disappear. So we, you're gonna get into a situation probably where you have lots of effects applied to the same clip. And rather than having to scroll up and down and find the settings you're looking for, you can just quickly expand the one that you want to be editing. So right now we'll keep transform um, unexpanded because we don't want to transform and change the size or anything of the video. We just want to um, change the color. So we need to add a color um, options for editing the color, which is under this color. So we hover over here and it says add video effect. We left click and then go to, go to color. We have a couple different options. We have invert and noise, which are kind of basic ones. And we have color correct and hue, saturation, brightness. We'll just see like with the invert, it'll just invert the, like we would expect. And there's only one option. We can invert it 100% um, or 0%. And sort of 50 percent is like this neutral it'll just be completely gray and if we don't want this in here which we re we really don't i'm going to right click and go to delete and that's how we can get rid of it um control z i'll bring that back though we can also go move up uh, or move down if like transform we could move down and that's going to be certain effects are going to have priority so the top one is the one that gets applied first and then the one below that um, so for example if we adjust the color in one uh, like color grading, and then we adjust the saturation in, a, in an effect below that, then it's going to look differently depending on which one has priority. Anyway, let's delete this, and let's actually add in this color correction. So for color correction, the options we get are temperature, we have tint, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, and saturation. So saturation, maybe we'll start at the bottom first. Everything's at 100%, or the temperature's at 6600. I'm not sure if that's default or if that actually grabs information from the metadata of the video or not. But in any event, let's look at saturation here. If we take that down to zero, it's basically taking all the color out. And if we go to 100%, that's putting all the color. Oh, we can go over 100%, but 100% is all the color in. We can increase saturation, just really make those colors kind of like burn and be like more than they were originally. If we right click, we can just go to reset to default and put it back to 100%. Um, the blacks is going to be like the dark points we can control. So if we do this too high, it's going to be kind of washed out. If we do it lower, we can kind of get these blacks, these dark shadows. Um, we're, going to, we're going to kind of see them differently. So play with that. Um, and then the whites are the same thing. The whites affect how the white or the lighter pixels appear. I'm going to right click and go to restore. And I'm really not a super experienced in color grading anyway. So I'm just kind of showing you what these what these different do. You have shadows and highlights, which are kind of like the whites and the blacks too. So shadows only affect like the sh the darker pixels of our image, whereas the highlights affect the lighter uh, parts. We'll right click. I'm going to reset those, uh, and then we have the contrast. Temperature is basically lighting. Like if I look on my the lights I'm using here in the studio, they have a certain temperature that they're at. So this helps you kind of like with your white balance so you can display accurate your whites will appear accurately if if your whites are appearing too yellow then we can adjust it to make them look more white and if they're kind of like really white and bright and you want to add some more yellow in there you can do that the temperature is going to be that uh, kind of that uh, balance between really really ultra white and kind of more yellowish for your whites at least that's how i'm going to explain it the tint is going to be our overall color so we can add different color tints I'm not sure what the numbers represent here. A lot of times this will actually be a scale, a color scale you can choose from. Uh, but I guess there's just, no, it's going between numbers. It must be adding in, I don't know what, what the numbers represent here. Anyway, there's, there's tint there. And then exposure, we have exposure for 
um, like if it's overexposed, underexposed, that also has to do with like the whites and how whites are processed in the video. So if there's parts, if it's too high, we can't see any detail in this portion here. And if it's um, too low, then we kind of get kind of grayed and it's like darker. So play with those um, and get a little familiar with that. But a lot of times you'll want to do some color correcting. And I, I can do this, zoom out, and I'll get my other video clip here. It might be a better example of something we can apply. So when this is selected, we see it everything's different and it doesn't even have the color correcting now it's just transform and all these default ones so we can come over here and add our color uh, color correction and now we can apply the same thing to it oh and one point that this kind of throws people off a little bit see even though i selected the a different video clip and i added in a, this effect we're still seeing the old video clip and you probably know why that's happening that's because our playhead is showing us uh, this part of the sequence and this is our sequence viewer so to view the ch to view what's happening that we're working on right now we need to move the playhead to that whatever portion of the clip we want to do so this is a good one where I'm driving and we can see outside and so I can zoom in here and we can adjust some of this and again like I don't know exactly what I'm gonna want to adjust probably maybe even like highlights a little bit With lower highlights we see a little bit more detail out there and then we can do exposure I don't know if we can get away with too much, but to bring, if we want to bring more detail of what's happening outside, um, a lot of times I'll just play with these and see how they how they work. And it's kind of different. It's a little bit different interface than I'm used to working with. Uh, let's bring in real quick this other one just to look at it. Hue saturation. This gives us um, a hue. We can change like the color. Wow, that does pretty trippy stuff to my shirt and glasses. Um, and then we can do saturation. This is the exact same thing we have on the other one. That's what I was mentioning earlier. If one has priority over the other, um, it's going to affect it differently. And then brightness is kind of a combination of those whites and blacks and highlights and shadows that it was before, only it's a more balanced way to do it. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about those. But that is how you would get in. If you have a really bad um, image or something you want to clean up, and the nice part about it is uh, it applies it to the whole clip. Why isn't this working? Oh, so as we play, so, you're picking up the 74 VW Beetle. so it, it applies it to the entire clip. And actually, I don't like what I've even done there. But that is color correcting, and uh, now you know how to do how to use it in uh, Olive. I wouldn't be surprised if in the future we see some color wheels and some more options for interacting with these that give us a little bit more uh, granularity and control over our color and picture. But um, this is what's here for the time being, kind of in the, at this early stages of development in Olive. Um, also, a color picker would be nice if you can pick a certain color and choose like a white point or a dark point and adjust white balance that way is kind of nice to be able to do uh, as well. But this is what we have right now, and it uh, works. So appreciate you watching. Go ahead and uh, leave your comments and questions below if you have any, and uh, we'll catch you in the next tutorial.